In the annals of history, there are few rivalries as intense, as brutal, and as legendary as that between Vlad Dracula, the ruler of Wallachia, and Mermd II, the Sultan of the Ottoman Empire. Their confrontation was not just a clash of armies, but a battle of wolves, of ideologies, and of destinies. This is the story of two titans, whose legacies were carved in blood and stone, in a time when empires rose and fell by the sword. Background To understand the fierce rivalry between Vlad Dracula and Mermd the Conqueror, we must first step back into the world of the 15th century. The Ottoman Empire, under Mermd's leadership, was expanding relentlessly, casting its shadow over Eastern Europe. Mermd II, known as the Conqueror, was a man of extraordinary ambition. His most famous triumph came in 1453 when he captured Constantinople, a feat that earned him eternal glory and signaled the dawn of a new era. On the other side of the frontier was Wallachia, a small but fiercely independent principality nestled between the Carpathian Mountains and the Danube River. Wallachia was ruled by Vlad III, a man who would become infamous as Vlad the Impaler, or Vlad Dracula. Born into a turbulent world, Vlad's childhood was marked by betrayal and captivity. As a young boy, he and his brother were held hostage by the Ottomans, where he learned the arts of war and diplomacy. But this captivity also planted the seeds of a deep and enduring hatred for his captors, a hatred that would later fuel his brutal campaigns against the Ottoman Empire. The Rise of the Rivalry As Mermd consolidated his power, he turned his gaze towards Wallachia, viewing it as both a threat and an opportunity. For Mermd, Wallachia was a stepping stone to greater conquests in Europe. For Vlad, the Ottoman Empire represented an existential threat to his homeland, his people, and his reign. The tension between these two leaders was inevitable, and it erupted into open conflict when Vlad refused to pay tribute to the Ottomans, a bold and dangerous defiance that set the stage for one of history's most brutal confrontations. In 1462, Mermd led a vast army into Wallachia, determined to crush Vlad and bring his rebellious principality to heel. But Vlad was no ordinary opponent. He knew that he could not defeat the Ottoman army in open battle, so he resorted to guerrilla warfare, using the rugged terrain of Wallachia to his advantage. He launched night raids, ambushed Ottoman troops, and employed psychological warfare, all designed to demoralize and weaken Mermd's forces. But it was the infamous, Forest of the Impaled, that would leave an indelible mark on history. As Merm's army approached the Wallachian capital of Targovite, they were met with a horrifying sight, thousands of Ottoman prisoners impaled on stakes, their bodies lining the road for miles. This gruesome spectacle was Vlad's message to Mermd, a stark warning of the price of invasion. The Climax and Aftermath The Battle of Targovite was the climax of their rivalry. Despite the ferocity of Vlad's resistance, the sheer size of Mermd's army forced him to retreat. But even in retreat, Vlad continued to harass the Ottoman forces, using scorched earth tactics and relentless raids to wear them down. Eventually, Mermd withdrew, unable to secure a decisive victory and shaken by the psychological toll of Vlad's brutal tactics. The war between Vlad and Mermd was not just a conflict of armies, it was a personal vendetta, a clash of two leaders driven by their own visions of power and survival. For Vlad, it was a desperate struggle to defend his homeland against an overwhelming force. For Mermd, it was a test of his empire's might and his own resolve as a conqueror. Although Vlad was eventually overthrown and captured by his own countrymen, and Wallachia would fall under Ottoman influence, the legacy of his defiance lived on. His tactics, his brutality, and his unwavering determination made him a symbol of resistance against the Ottoman Empire. As for Mermd, he would go on to further solidify his empire, but the campaign in Wallachia remained one of the most challenging of his reign, a reminder that even the mightiest of empires could be humbled by a determined foe. The Continuing Conflict the struggle between Vlad Dracula and Mermd II did not end with the initial battles. After his daring campaigns, Vlad's reign became increasingly unstable. In 1462, following the retreat of Mermd's forces, 
Vlad was betrayed by his own allies and imprisoned by the Hungarian king, Matthias Corvinus. During his captivity, Wallachia fell into chaos, and Mermd saw an opportunity to reassert Ottoman control. However, Vlad was not finished. In 1476, after over a decade of political intrigue and shifting alliances, he managed to regain the throne of Wallachia with the help of his allies. This brief resurgence was marked by renewed conflicts with the Ottomans, but Vlad's second reign was short-lived. He was defeated and killed in battle against Ottoman forces, ending his tumultuous rule. His death did not mark the end of Wallachian resistance, but it did signal the waning of his personal influence over the region. For Merm II, the conflict with Vlad Dracula was a significant chapter in his broader campaign to consolidate Ottoman power in Eastern Europe. Despite the challenges posed by Vlad's tactics, Merm's reign continued to see expansion and consolidation. His legacy was firmly established with the Ottoman Empire becoming a formidable force, securing its dominance and influence across vast territories. The Legacy of Vlad and Mermd The legacy of Vlad Dracula, often shrouded in myth and legend, remains one of history's most intriguing figures. His reputation as Vlad the Impaler is a testament to his ruthless methods, but it also reflects his fierce determination to protect his homeland. Over time, Vlad's story evolved into the lore of Dracula, a name immortalized in literature and popular culture as a symbol of fear and resistance. Mermd II, on the other hand, is remembered as one of the greatest Ottoman sultans. His conquest of Constantinople, combined with his successful campaigns and administrative reforms, earned him a place in history as a visionary leader. The Ottoman Empire, under his rule, reached new heights, and his legacy shaped the future of both the empire and its relations with Europe. The symbolism of their conflict. The rivalry between Vlad and Mermd became emblematic of the larger struggle between European states and the Ottoman Empire. It represents the clash of cultures, ideologies, and ambitions in a period of intense geopolitical tension. Vlad's defiance and Mermd's ambition symbolize the broader historical dynamics of resistance against imperial expansion and the quest for sovereignty. Their conflict has inspired countless stories and interpretations, from historical accounts to modern fiction. Vlad's transformation into a legendary figure, and Mermd's status as a conquering hero, highlight how personal rivalries can shape historical narratives and influence cultural imagination. Their story continues to captivate audiences, illustrating the enduring fascination with the dramatic encounters that shaped our world. Conclusion The epic clash between Vlad Dracula and Mermd the Conqueror stands as a testament to the power of historical narratives. It is a story of bravery and brutality, of resistance and ambition, set against the backdrop of a world in flux. As we reflect on their legacies, we are reminded of the complexity of history and the impact of individual leaders on the course of events. Vlad's fierce resistance and Mermd's relentless pursuit of conquest illustrate the dramatic interplay of power and resistance. Their story remains a compelling chapter in the grand saga of history, reminding us that even in the face of overwhelming odds, the human spirit's quest for freedom and dominance can create legends that endure through the ages. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content. Until next time.